Remember when American diplomats in Cuba were hearing those strange sounds and then suffered brain damage from some sort of mysterious invisible attacks? Well, there's now a report, actually multiple reports, of an eerily similar incident near the White House last year. And Senate Intelligence Committee leaders now say they will get to the bottom of it. They say the so-called Havana syndrome attacks against U.S. personnel appear to be increasing. NBC's Josh Letterman has reported extensively on these mystery attacks since they first surfaced in Havana. Josh, after five years, have we learned anything definitive? Well, when this first came to light back in 2017, the U.S. government referred to them as targeted attacks affecting U.S. personnel serving in Cuba. Uh, but over the years, the investigation stalled and the U.S. stopped using the word attacks or weapons, instead simply referring these to as to referring to these as health incidents. Uh, as the U.S. government struggled to figure out what was going on and a growing number of experts questioned whether it might just be mass hysteria. But today, two top senators briefed on the intelligence say these were definitely attacks carried out by some type of weapon. NBC News has reported that the U.S. government considers Russia to be the most likely culprit. And a report last year by the National Academies of Science found the brain injuries were most likely caused by pulsed microwave energy, which former CIA director Leon Panetta says is a serious threat. That kind of technology uh, is very real. Uh, and it can threaten people, not by bullets, simply by using the capabilities to send, uh, send a wave into, into an embassy. What's made this so tough to solve is the fact that the symptoms the Americans are reporting are so vague. Things like nausea, hearing loss, and problems with balance and memory. Many reported hearing this sound before falling ill. Now the U.S. government is scrambling to figure out just how widespread this is, with new reports of new possible cases in Russia, China, and now even here in the United States. And just this week, the Canadian group of diplomats accused their own government of withholding information about three new cases of brain injury among Canadian diplomats who also served in Cuba. Shep Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.